The chief of the campus police at the University of California, Davis, was placed on administrative leave today. She joins two officers who were suspended after using pepper spray on students during an Occupy protest. Ben Tracy reports that video of the incident last Friday has raised questions about police tactics. More than a thousand people packed the Central Quad at UC Davis today. Outraged by what happened here Friday. I'm right here. I've just been sprayed. David Bouchot and other students were protesting tuition hikes, part of the Occupy movement. When police tried to move them, they sat down. Don't shoot students! Just before the police officer um, sprayed us with pepper spray, he stepped over us and we did not impede him at all. He shook up the can of pepper spray. He held it up to the crowd. I had my eyes closed. My arm was around my girlfriend and uh, I kissed her on the forehead and then all hell broke loose. Police say they felt surrounded. After warning the students, two officers shot pepper spray directly in the faces of more than a dozen protesters. My entire body was eventually covered in pepper spray. My entire body. Um, I was coughing up blood. I was puking. This is the latest example of police using pepper spray on Occupy protesters. In Seattle, an 84-year-old woman was sprayed. And in Portland, Liz Nichols got a face full of pepper spray at close range. It felt like my face, my ears were on fire. Pepper spray irritates the eyes and causes burning in the throat and nose. It is designed to be used to escape an attacker. Richard Lichten is an expert on police tactics. He spent 30 years at the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. He says the use of pepper spray at UC Davis seems to be unjustified. If officers are able to step over these folks without any kind of problem, if in fact the officers that were encircled were not being held there and could, could leave at will, then I have a problem with that. Here at UC Davis, the chancellor has called for an investigation into the police response and their pepper spray policies. Meanwhile, many students are calling for the chancellor's resignation. But when she addressed the students today, Scott, she did not offer that. Instead, she offered a tearful apology for what happened. Ben, thank you very much.